Howdy. Thanks for stopping by the Down South Picking His Dang Channel. Hey, we got another package from Monument Metals today. Really excited about this one. We got something really cool in here. We also got sort of mystery. And uh, I've been stoked. I've been waiting all day to open this one because we got a little hunting to do inside this box. Hey, if you like what we got going on here, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the little bell icon so you get notified when I upload some new content. Let's get right into this box, man. Yeah. I've been excited. Hey, I ordered this on the 19th. They shipped it out on the 23rd. And I got it on the 26th of February. So, here I am knocking stuff over over here. Let's get that out of the way. I'm not going to do that. So, Monument got this out to me pretty quick. Uh, I've been ordering a few things from him here lately. Him and Hero and SD. And, you know, they seem to have several things I like on sale and things I've been meaning to get. Just my pack and slip there. Yeah. Like always, Monument packs stuff good. We got another box in there. Oh, try to man, too much dump into it. Bro, I have to persuade it a little bit. Get this one out. Goodness gracious! There we go. And this up. That end off with the soul skizzers. First thing we got is the new kookaburra perf mint Australian kookaburra. Been looking forward to picking one of these up. It's a really pretty coin. I reckon they like to eat snakes. Look at that. Oh, how big a bird is a kookaburra? Some of y'all down under there that's seen one before. Is it as big as a parrot or as small like a wren? If it's big enough to carry a snake like that. Oh, I've heard their noise. Ooh, ah, ah, one of them kind of, they say it's a laughing bird. We used to sing a song about that in school when I was a kid. It's got a nice frosted uh, field there. That's that's pretty cool. You know, looks like there's a yep, there's a scratch on the plastic right there. That's not on the coin. That thing going down the back of his neck there. That's on the coin or on the capsule itself there but I like that frosted uh, field that background there that's really nice old kookaburra y'all want to see it under the microscope let's check it out on the microscope why not Jay hey you got that fancy gizmo you might as well just slide it on over here that's what we'll do stick it over here let's check it out might as well right here we go I like this thing, man. We're four nines fine in 2024. Definitely a snake. Looks like it got diamonds on it. I don't know. That's got to be a smaller snake. I don't know. Tell me, folks, how big is a kookaburra? That's really nice, man. Detail in the feathers. That frosted background. We'll look at them out and see if there's anything hidden up in there. We got, it looks like the initials, SR. Probably the uh, 
engraver. P125. Interesting. Might have to look that up. Let's check out the back. Not a whole lot of detail back there, but you can really see that granular frosted background. Down there in Australia, y'all make some pretty coins. <clears throat> That's your 2024 Kookaburra. We're going to add that to a stand here. All right. Awesome. So, what else we got here? They don't want to come out. It's a whole bunch of somethings. Actually, if you don't believe me, you'll see here in a minute. It's a bunch of somethings. Yeah, looky there. We got us a roll of halves from Monument Metals. It's the first roll I've got from them. But they're all walkers. I really like the Walk of Liberty uh, design. And uh, hopefully we got some uh, good dates. Maybe some 20s. Some teens. Maybe a 38D. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're fixing to find out though. I haven't done any roll hunts on my channel. Uh, but... Sure looks fun. Got some really dark ones in there, it looks like. Let's go straight to those dark ones and see what see what that one is. It's got some color. It's just dark. <laughs> dark. It's a 1942. some dates on these 1943 she's pretty worn forty five got a big cut there hey these are sold as joke uh, joke <laughs> not quite a joke it's a constitutional joke it's junk they were sold as junk, folks. I wasn't expecting no pretty numismatic stuff or anything. So I'm not going to badmouth them or anything. Junk silver, junk silver. You know, uh, this is a 42. Forty-six looks like. Forty-five, forty-two. This is a little nicer. The forty-five. Forty-two. Yeah, I'd say he's good and picked through. 44. 45. 45. 42. It's a 41. Well, give us a 38. A 
42, 43. Oh, you can hear it ring too. 41. 43. The 43. And the last but not least. Oh, that's a 36. Hmm. 36. Right. Well, we hit the 30s at least. Could have been a 38D. Yeah, well, <laughs> not quite. But. Well, when I was sitting these down, I was hearing them ring. I don't know if you guys could hear that or not, but one of them just was ringing. Hear that. <laughs> uh, there's just something about these halves. It's real money. Hold it in your hand. It makes that different sound. You know, all around a pocket of those these days. Weigh your drawers down a little bit, but... You know, that sound, that feel. Yeah. I don't know. I might walk around with a half a roll in my pocket for a couple of days. And, you know, makes you at least feel like you got some real money in your pocket these days. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, hope you like that. If you guys want to see some more uh, roll hunting or something, some dimes, maybe some Franklins next time. Uh, give me a holler, leave me a, uh, thing in the comments there. Uh, these were on sale. If you want to call them on sale, they're about 18 times face. So, uh, not a super good deal, but you know, it's better than 20 times face. I mean, I've paid 12, $13 for these at flea markets and stuff. So, uh, you know, about nine dollars a coin and bad. You know, and uh, I was washing a knife. Somebody's gonna say something about the band aid. I was washing a knife. I carved a turkey last night, and uh, I was washing a knife, and I sharpened the knife before I used it. Now, and uh, it tapped me, and it cut me almost straight to the bone. And uh, I put some of that new skin, closed her up and everything. But that's that's what that's all about. I ain't going to tell you a big old story about that. But uh, I know somebody has something to say about my Mickey Mouse Band-Aid. But that's what I had. And I uh, hope you all like the kookaburra. I know I had a comment the other day. I'm thinking about doing a video on just the Perf Mint coins and things that I got. Like uh, that uh, kilo bar I got here at the coin show. And... Uh, We'll show some close-ups of those. Maybe some gold coins. Uh, Y'all, if you like what you see here, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Helps the algorithm. Uh, and never forget that there is no greater treasure than that that is being set aside for us in heaven by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Y'all have a blessed day. I love y'all. And we'll see you next time.